Some hundred years ago, animals and humans lived alongside each other amidst harmony provided by nature. Today, man's greed coupled with modernity are quickly threatening animals of the wild. And with bushmeat, their life in the wild is in jeopardy. The eland, the Uganda cob, and the baboon survive on the palatable grasslands of Karuma. The park is also home to Africa's great heavyweights, the mighty elephants, the buffaloes, and the beautiful sky-towering giraffes. They are a major attraction to the majority of visitors coming to the Pearl of Africa, a country gifted by nature. It is here that the gifts of nature are quickly disappearing to the sharp spears, lethal snares, and greed of the hunting communities surrounding Karuma Wildlife Reserve. Communities grappling with poverty. Located on the eastern fringes of the magnificent Markishon Falls National Park, Karuma Game Reserve is a breeding ground and sanctuary to the majority of animals of Markishon Falls National Park. Karuma, too, forms a buffer between the park and neighboring human communities of Amuru, Oyam, Apache, Gulu, and Masindi districts of Midwestern Uganda. An area quite close to the border with Sudan to the north and DR Congo to the west. Unfortunately, this rich game reserve is in the center of a big disaster. The evils of bush meat trade. The human animal conflict here has reached unprecedented levels. <laughs> This film production crew was lucky to join a team of bush meat researchers and a group of former poachers now converted to conservation. They are now members of Ex Poachers Association. Patrick Odongo is 38 years old. He hails from Nora Village, Oyam District, on the fringes of the eastern sector of Karuma Game Reserve. Before Odongo dropped his towel as a poacher and dealer in bush meat trade, he was a leader of the biggest hunting group, poaching in the wild reserve of Karuma. The memories of poaching are still fresh in the hunters' minds. Uh, actually, we thought, why is that we should at least come out and form a group instead of going for, for poaching because we have been facing a lot of problems. Uh, we have been losing our people as a result of poaching. You might find your friend or your brother is killed and he end up leaving his uh, children in, in problems. This particular sport in River Juno is so special. The hunters usually enter the park through Akimot and Goro Valley gates. But above all, an oath of commitment and resilience. This is how we used to do it. Having performed rituals like this, the poachers are convinced that no bad omen would confront their mission. They would spend up to seven days in the thick jungles of Karuma hunting for a catch. The ritual are not performed anywhere in the bush. And this crossing point just a kilometer off Karuma Junction is another selected site where the poachers perform their rituals. They too have a command. During the expedition, Talking is minimized and communication is mainly by use of body signs or language. The hunting methods and tools here are many and varied. They range from the traditional spear to elusive traps and snares. All is left now is to whom it may concern. The hunters here target strategic places like water points and animal trails. The memories of Mze Opio are still fresh in his mind. Yeah, this is uh, the buffalo's horn. The size is this way. So, if it entered, it can't touch this one, even this one. So, yeah. it can.
the destruction is random and unselective, leading to some of the innocent animals like Amani, the chimpanzee, landing into a crossfire of the targeted animals. We rescued Amani from this very forest. Amani is a, a, a young chimpanzee female that we got uh, here in the forest and she had been caught in a mantra. It got a broken limb. It was taken to Uganda Wildlife Education Center, my center, where surgery was done. Uh, we amputated the limb, we couldn't save it, and now we are returning it to the forest. It's fully recovered. Hello. It's time to share the load. One group will remain back to smoke the meat for purposes of flavor addition and preservation. The other group, as usual, remains on guard. The smoking site is again by the riverside. Trouble is not restricted to settlers of dry land. The wetland of the wide Nile of Karuma is home to super heavyweights like crocodiles and hippos. Hippos stay in the water for the rest of the day, but will come on land at night. The poachers of Karuma are aware of this. They have the patience to breathe the day's heat, waiting till dark when the hippos emerge out of their hiding place for feeding. Each spear here is thirsty. Thirsty to drink the blood of the giants of Karuma. They too are a delicacy to millions of Ugandans. Areas which are hotspots for, for poachers like the, the, the Nora, Nora areas and the, uh, the Abel subcounty generally. And the fact, they say Nora is the headquarters of poached meat? Uh, in fact, as per Karuma Wildlife Reserve, Nora still leads in, in, in the poaching incidents. The bush meat dealers have been waiting for the hunters to return. The fresh and smoked bush meat finds its way to the market often to the east of Karuma Wildlife Reserve. Like Denmark is the butter market of Europe. Amati and Nora villages are the bush meat market of northern Uganda. The meat is then ferried to Uganda's major urban centers like Kampala, Lira and Gulu where the demand is ever increasing. Actually, uh, this meat uh, that we use maybe to get from the park, we add market not within our community because we fear being reported to the war officials. We normally sell it far, like in Gulu, Lera, Apache, and, and the other neighboring areas. This Planet restaurant in Gulu town is an example. The place is a bit hidden, but a client will find it when he needs it. This young lady has been in this business for over 10 years now. She too admits that the majority of her clients are bushmeat consumers. The local code name for bushmeat here is Maka, which simply means charcoal. Another bullet, another life. Now modernity has arrived. The poachers who need more meat to satisfy the ever-growing market have to negotiate for illegal automatic rifles and ammunition, doubling trouble for the innocent creatures of nature. This dirty and nasty activity continues to devastate animals of the wild now and again. But to the vanguards of conservation, enough is enough. More action must be taken if conservation is to be attained. Problems we get when we are reacting to and poaching uh, operations. You get uh, a log has been thrown on the road by the elephants, then you, you waste a lot of time and it's a hindrance. 
So this really causes a lot of delays in terms of anti-poaching operations. The poachers are taking no chances. But this time the troublemakers become the trouble targets. They have to strengthen their intelligence and counter-deploy, this time with little success. The hunter of Karuma becomes the hunted. It is time to reap where you saw. We have managed to arrest four of them. We are in Alpha One, Alpha One, Alpha One. the major market markets for poached posh bush meat is uh, we have uh, Gulu Town. In Gulu Town, most of the restaurants in Gulu Town uh, sell bush meat, and we also have areas like uh, like Kafu, uh, the the Kafu market, the Chibanja. Those areas are, are, are very are, are very good hotspots for. For, for bush meat, and the, the, the market, the, 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 the market is already. People are waiting for them to buy at the at the entrance. These people who buy are now take to Gulu, whether lira or whether where. They count days. The first day they have entered. Second day they may be roasting. Third day they may have. You mean they take some days? Yes. Mm. It is not the marathon. Ha, I thought uh, hours. <laughs> it, it is an expedition. Yeah, yes. Yes. Okay. Rumi seems to be having um, some parasite eggs. We can see coccidia. Um, her mother actually, her mother oh, oh, was killed by poachers, and that's why she was brought here at that age. At, a, at an age of one and one, to one and a half months old, you can hardly get an animal out of its mother. And she lost track of her mother, so we can't take her back to her mother. All we have to do is give her a home here, and that's what we are going to do. The crisis really is a multifaceted problem, uh, because uh, in addition to the animals that are actually hunted, killed, eaten, and uh, uh, smoked and sold to the markets, there are those that are actually trapped we rescue the animals that are trapped in, in these uh, very uh, unfortunate circumstances. Uh, in many of the animals, we actually remove the traps. Uh, we always try to work on the animals uh, in, the, in, the, in the setting where we find them without removing them from their habitat. We remove the snares, we give them treatment for uh, the wounds that they have. Uh, sometimes you need to do surgery to close up wounds and then we release these animals back into uh, the wild. And we use these animals as a, a, a subject of education to the members of the public about the dangers 
of not only bushmeat crisis but any sort of snaring and intervention that humans do in ecosystems, wild ecosystems which are supposed to be inhabited by these animals. Weeks after captivity and detention, Odungu and his colleagues who survived the arrest sit together to reconsider their way of life. They finally resolve to denounce poaching for a better and safer way of life. It was time for the group to voluntarily surrender to the park officials. This church at Amati forms a vital landmark to their new way of life. So generally, ex uh, is a group who have reformed. They have left uh, entering in the park legally for killing animals. They have left poaching. No, it went dark, you know, fire. A network of conservation stakeholders, including Uganda Wildlife Authority and park officials, give them a friendly welcome for their new decision. A smile easily comes. <laughs> what I can tell the communities around and my colleagues is that let us leave poaching in the park. Let us come out and actually practice the conservation purpose so that in future our children can even benefit the same way we are benefiting now from the park. Today, the new move is to sensitize and identify income generating activities and provide alternative sources of protein. This is a new direction to attain a bush meat free society. When we came out, uh, we were given a token of appreciation. And as I talk now, uh, we have opened up a goat layering project and we, we are doing well actually. As I talk now, per member is having around five, five or six goats which is equivalent even coming to one cow. 